good morning good afternoon or good evening depending on what time it is where you are either way this is pastor wayne welcome to penbrook church of god we're going to start right off today with an announcement um, and it's an invitation uh, if you're a youth or a young adult over the next several days you may be receiving an invitation from me um, and that is for a group meeting that group meeting we will have a short devotional an open discussion time and there might even be a couple interesting uh, uh, tricks or weird uh, um, items I might uh, have here to show you, and it's possible that everybody's pal Rufus will be making an appearance for that meeting as well. So I encourage you uh, to, uh, if you get that link, um, if you know another youth or young adult, I encourage you to share it with them so they can join us as well. That's our announcement. I'm, we're going to go right to our invocation, and it comes from Jeremiah 10. Hear what the Lord says to you, people of Israel. This is what the Lord says. No one is like you, Lord. You are great, and your name is mighty in power. You sh who should not fear you, king of the nations? This is your due. Among all the wise leaders of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is no one like you. Let us pray. Great and mighty king, we are gathered together to give you praise. May our worship this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, all day long, Lord, may our worship be fitting for you, our King. May your Spirit move in our midst, Jesus. Healing, changing, healing, Lord, we pray, especially today. Changing and blessing. May you be glorified by our worship through your Spirit. It is in the perfect name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Now, for our greeting today, I have uh, I have a favor to ask everybody. Um, I know that you don't have to think really hard, but think about it for a moment. If there's somebody that perhaps lives alone or that you might think is lonely, um, I, I encourage you to reach out to them in uh, by text, um, a phone call, um, Skype, FaceTime, whatever whatever thing floats your boat. But either way, I encourage you to reach out to them, connect with them, um, and it's very possible that uh, somebody. Um, might need nothing more than the sound of your voice, um, and you can uh, provide that for them. Um, and so for the greeting, you can either pause the video and go do that, or you can just finish the video and then uh, and then go and do that. But I encourage you either way uh, to do it. Uh, you know, you could actually use a greeting. Uh, you, when, you, when you first talk to them, just say, God bless you. I call it the sneeze greeting, but either way, um, remind them that there is a somebody more powerful than any of us, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, and he has um, he has all of this under control. It's not that he doesn't know what is going on. He certainly does. For our offering today, uh, I'd like to share with you Deuteronomy 16, 17. Every man shall give as he is able. Ah, that reminds me. <clears throat> this past week, we were running a bit low on toilet paper here at the Anderson residence, and um, I had a brief conversation with a neighbor, and we didn't even talk about that. I don't even remember necessarily saying anything about toilet paper, but either way, the next morning, we found some toilet paper on our front doorstep, and um, we traced it back to them. We were able to thank them for that, but they were just sensitive and listening enough to know somehow that our household needed toilet paper, and what a huge blessing it was to us. Um, and we, we were just very, very grateful, and it led to a really nice kind of across-the-yard conversation with them. Um, so I just want to encourage you to, uh, to have those conversations today with people, but to listen very, very carefully um, and, uh, and be sensitive to what people may need. Okay, so Deuteronomy 16, 17, Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord, your God, which ha he, has, he has given you. So um, remember, as far as an offering is concerned, thank you very much for all, the, all of you that have sent in your tithes or tithes online. Um, we want, obviously want to continue the ministries at Pembroke Church of God going forward. We thank you for that. Um, and I also thank you all. All of you know who you are. I don't, actually. Um, that, uh, that in little ways and big ways throughout the week have given to friends, fa family, and neighbors, co-workers. Uh, sometimes it's just giving of your time. And uh, may the Lord bless you for that, because um, that is a, indeed an offering. Um, let's go ahead and pray. All good things come from you, Lord. 
We thank you today for blessing us. It is with great pleasure that we give our offering. We ask that your perfect will be done with it and also in us. Bless the giver, Lord. And may your church in Penbrook be a blessing to its community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, um, to end out the video, um, Jay Hoffman and myself have put together a little clip for you. It is a uh, hymn that's played on the trumpet, and we have a few pictures for you to enjoy. So uh, either way, um, it's been a blessing to meet with you again today. Enjoy the videos. I want to encourage you to check out uh, Pastor Mark's videos. Some really good uh, devotionals and meditations in there have given me great perspective throughout the week. Um, have given me things to meditate on as well. So we encourage you to, to check out those videos and, of course, um, so, some of the other uh, content that we have so far. May the Lord bless and keep you. God bless you.